if there's one thing you could legitimately complain about in Game of Thrones, apart from all the rapes, it's the bloody names. G or this, Willis that, Aegon, Aerys, Aemon, Malkovich Malkovich Malkovich. Is it any wonder we can't always keep track of who's who? One name that has kept coming up is Rhaegar Targaryen, and the finale of season 7 made that a more important name than ever. Prince Rhaegar plays a significant part in Game of Thrones, yet we've never so much as seen him. That's because he's dead, Robert Baratheon crushed his chest with a warhammer on the Trident River before taking the throne from the Mad King Aerys II long before the events of Series 1, but we've got the background skinny if you need to catch up. Rhaegar Targaryen, who was he? Crown Prince Rhaegar was the elder son of Aerys II, the Mad King, and by all accounts a strong, forceful, charismatic guy. Cersei Lannister was in love with him but King Aerys felt the Lannisters, despite Tywin being Hand of the King, were beneath Rhaegar, so he married off his son to Aelia Martell instead, the sister, of Prince Duran and sexy squished head Prince Oberyn of Dorne. All of which explains why the Lannisters killed Aaliyah and the children after the sack of King's Landing, and why Prince Oberyn really hated the Lannisters. While Aaliyah was loyal and true, and bore Rhaegar a daughter, Rhaenys, and a son, Aegon, he was a bit of a turd to her. He fell for Lyanna Stark, Ned's sister, at a jousting tournament and kidnapped her, or so we were told. More on that later, infuriating her beloved, Robert Baratheon, and precipitating the War of Robert's Rebellion. Related, Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 7 Review, The Dragon and the Wolf The lords who supported King Aerys II in that war did so mostly because even though the king was psychotic, his heir was an altogether better bet. But Robert beat Rhaegar, so that was that. He had help, of course, from his best buddy Ned Stark and eventually the Lannisters. Tywin turned on his patron by opening the gates of King's Landing to the invading army, and Jaime, of course, delivered the coup de grace by actually killing the Mad King, for which he never gets enough credit. Rhaegar Targaryen, what's Lyanna got to do with it? Rhaegar not only kidnapped Ned's sister, he kept her for months at a place called the Tower of Joy. That was the castle that young Ned and Howland Reed went to in Bran's vision of the past, where they battled Sir Arthur Dane, the badass knight who fought with two swords simultaneously, HBO as the fan theory R plus L equals J correctly predicted, Rhaegar got Lyanna pregnant and Ned found her at the tower as she was dying in childbirth with baby John. He then returned to Winterfell with him, claiming, even to his own wife, that John was his own bastard son rather than risk the boy's murder by anti-Targaryen zealots. Such as his buddy Robert, for example, who by then had taken the kingdom from Eris II and as we learned from Gilly in Season 7 Episode 5, Eastwatch, Prince Ragger had his marriage secretly annulled and a new ceremony performed in Dorne. Rhaegar and Lyanna got married, now confirmed by Bran in the season 7 finale to be consensually, and so therefore John is the legitimate, rightful king. HBO we earn a commission for products purchased through some links in this article. So what? You may be asking. Well, first it means Jon Snow has the blood of the dragon, and is therefore potentially a dragon rider like Daenerys. Which is why Drogon let him pet him. Daenerys, by the way, is his aunt. Daenerys was Rhaegar's baby sister, born a little after Jon. Yeah, so there's that. And in all the Targaryen lore, the dragon has three heads. Like Aegon the Conqueror and his two sister wives with their three dragons, Daenerys had three dragons. Only two now, of course, and only one rider. So far, John fits the bill. Though so could Tyrion, 
If the theory that he's King Eris's bastard son is true, Game of Thrones Season 8 will premiere on April 14, 2019. The show airs on HBO in the US and Sky Atlantic and Now TV in the UK. Season 7 is now available to buy on DVD, Blu-ray or digital download. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our Digital Spy Instagram and Twitter account.